Where do I start with alchemy? Today we'll be going over one of the most popular professions in gold making and running through some core things you should really know before getting into alchemy for gold making. So without further ado, let us begin. What should you craft? For alchemy there are a few keynote items that sell great all year round. This is where you should start if you are just getting into the alchemy scene. These are current content, potions, flasks and daily transmutes. Of course different potions and flasks sell better on a server to server basis and this needs to be taken into account. What you should look for is the most commonly bought ones. This can be done by looking at the sell rate of each potion and flask. This can also be done with the use of the profession window using Trade Skill Master. You are able to do this in an automatic fashion by putting all of the potions and flasks into their own group and using a crafting operation which will take into account for the sell rate as well. This is reflected on the screen as of now. This will check if the sell rate is at 0.1 or above, then if it is 0.1 it will check if it is profitable to craft, which then you will just have to craft the said item. Source Sourcing materials for alchemy is a pretty simple affair. You will need to buy cheaper materials to make or increase your profit. This can be done by purchasing your materials two to three days before a raid night or a weekly reset. This is because most materials drop in price just before a raid night, which means this is the perfect time to purchase your materials for greater returns in the long run. You are able to search for the low priced items with this TSM string on screen right now. Set it as your shopping operation inside of TSM and you shouldn't have that much of a problem. Just don't forget to add it to a group for those materials. Handling Masteries. Potion, elixir and transmutation masteries in alchemy can be a great way to make additional gold. One keynote thing to remember is that these proc chances do not apply after the Mists of Pandaria expansion. The proc chance for all of these are 20%. This means that if you are a transmutation master and you craft true gold, you'll on average receive 20% more bars from that craft increasing your gold making potential. You are able to create a crafting operation using this string on screen which accounts for the 20% but this is to be applied to the crafting value instead of the min profit then this will be applied to all of your potions flask and transmutes that are located in your specific group now we'll run through some methods that you can do for making gold with alchemy starting with casual crafting. Casual crafting is where you'll be crafting daily. Simply put, reposting and posting every day. This is more of a laid back approach to gold making, which in the long run will make you gold over time, which then it will actually also scale. Moving on to the more higher end, we have raid night selling. However, raid night selling on the other hand is high volume of popular crafts for crafting profit and aggressively posting and cancel scanning on a raid night night, otherwise known as reset day and weekends. There is a sweet spot between 5pm to 8pm server time where you'll be wanting to do this. This method can be incredibly competitive but can yield insane returns in a very short amount of time. In conclusion, if you apply all of these methods for alchemy, this will be able to set you up for making large amounts of gold each and every week in regards to the alchemy profession. Hopefully this gives you a good idea on where to start with alchemy. Other than that guys, have a wonderful rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon.